we're back uh, right here in the studio, and our guest this evening is Dr. Uh, Nelamani, who is a, a senior research scientist in coastal management program at the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research, Kisser. Uh, doctor, welcome to our program, Hala Kuwait. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. I'm really happy to be here today. Nice to have you with us right here on the program. And doctor, you're the lead inventor for a, a patent titled uh, Floating Breakwater. So maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about this idea and what it's all about, please. Yeah, Floating Breakwater, um, this is a, a structure in the coastal area to protect the erosion of the coast. For example, around the world, many countries, they, are, they have coastal erosion. And country like Kuwait, uh, if you walk along the beaches, you will see in many places are rocks dumped on the beach, yeah. mainly to protect the coast. The problem is, these rocks are very expensive for a country like Kuwait, because they are exporting from other countries. And you need basically good quality rocks for marine work. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is number one. Number two, see nowadays uh, dumping rocks on the beach, people don't like it because see, the world now considers dumping rock is an ugly solution. Yeah. Ugly engineering solution. Also, if you dump rock on the beach, you will lose your beach. Yeah, it makes the beach not nice also. Yeah. So we have to go for alternative solution, mm -hmm. which is uh, first of all cost effective and uh, you should consume very little material compared to rock and then it should be environment friendly. Um, so with this background, we have done a study in the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research through a project sponsored by uh, Kuwait Foundation of Science. KFAS. Is, yeah, KFAS, yes. This is a three-year project. Um, we did the study, then when, when we come across the solution, there are a lot of new information. Uh, worth for uh, going for a patent. And what do we have? We have on the screen, I think, the patent there. Tell us what we're taking a look at, doctor. Yeah, th that is um, uh, uh, Innovative Floating Breakwater. That is our US patent number one. Mm. Number, yeah, that is the number. We got did it you, during May 17. Did you expect that you'd get a patent for this? At the beginning of our research work, we, we, we were not expecting we will get a patent. Okay. But we know the study will, be, uh, will come with good results, which will be useful for a country like Kuwait and other GCC countries. So how long was the study for, doctor? Uh, pardon? How long did the study last for? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This study is for almost three years. For example, if you see the picture, this is the way people around the world, they protect coastal area. Yes. See, uh, you see everywhere it is uh, rocks. Country like uh, India, for example, rock is cheaper, so this is okay. Even though it looks like an ugly solution, uh, it is cheaper, so it is okay. For Kuwait, it is very expensive. So that is the way. That is why we got to go for a new in innovation. Okay, it's, uh, thank you for these uh, photos that you brought uh, for us here. And uh, we are um, now, the patent, when you got the patent, uh, you and your team must have been very happy for that achievement, doctor, correct? Yes, 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 myself and my co-inventor, Dr. Khalid al Barna, and many of my teams, they all worked together for three years including um, different researchers, professionals, and uh, technicians. So what is this, uh, what are we taking a look at here before another photo? Yeah, for example, you, you see, this is an island in Kuwait, Garu Island, for example. Yeah. This island is surrounded with a lot of corals. So if we use stones here around the island for protecting the island, it will destroy, it the, will destroy the coral. So the, the one what we are proposing is a floating structure, you see there. The what is color. that? What is that exactly, floating Yeah, one? it is a structure floating. And then you have to move them properly, so when wave comes, the structure will uh, reflect some energy of the wave, and it will dissipate some energy of the wave. So the finally, the wave hitting the uh, beach will be smaller. And is this structure will be rotating around the island or fixed no, in no, one place? No, this will be this will be a fixed structure. In, mm -hmm. in the sense, it is a floating structure, mm -hmm. but you have to move them. Like in the villages, you see the cow people tie them with a pole sure. on the ground. That is a mooring arrangement, so we have to do it. And also, for example, see in this slide, in an open sea uh, operation like uh, oil loading, yes. sometime in a year, waves will be very high. Mm -hmm. So during that time, you cannot uh, load or unload oil. Yes, difficult. So you have to protect this area also by uh, floating structure. 
And this is the floating breakwater. Yeah, this is the floating breakwater. Okay. See, in the oil platform, this will be at a depth of 20 meter. Mm -hmm. So you cannot build a fixed structure to protect uh, ships. So what is this uh, floating breakwater made out of? Yeah, you can use, uh, for example, hollow concrete uh -huh. or good quality, um, flexible plastic with good thickness. Or even you can use uh, steel with good um, corrosion protection coating. So all these things can be designed properly. And this doctor? And this one, see for example, again for an island like uh, Garu, if you want to have a small uh, marina for example, mm -hmm. you can use the floating breakwater as a marina structure itself. Very nice. See, uh, the, the, the um, uh, floating breakwater, like an arc, that is a marina. So this will be cheaper and environment friendly. So is this something now going to be implemented soon for the islands and this or not yet? Yeah, now see we got the patent, um, Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research, we are uh, now commercializing. So we are going for, we are doing marketing. So in future it will be commercialized. Okay, so, so it will be in the market soon, then, huh? Yeah, yeah, we have to go for the market soon. Okay, that we look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. and doctor, you have a, a wide, vast experience. Uh, uh, working, I think, uh, many years in India before coming here, correct? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, teaching in uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. It is a premier... Uh, premier uh, engineering uh, school, huh? Yeah, it's an uh, engineering school number one uh, last year in India. Yes. I was teaching for 13 years for bachelor, master's and PhD students. And I was also guiding many students doing consultancy services in coastal engineering area. And how long have you been at the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research, Yeah, I joined doctor? here during 2003. So <laughs> almost, almost 12, 13 12 years. years uh, finished, yes. <laughs> well, you're, how is your stay in Kuwait going well? You're happy at Kisser? Yeah, it is good. See, Kisser have a very good infrastructure for research. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do excellent piece of work, you can, you can do it. And also, if you need um, good instruments, you can, um, we have provisions to buy. Yeah, the slide now, what they are showing, this is what the innovation, I have to explain the innovation. Yes, tell us the in detail with, this. With, yeah, with the red color number one, this is a, a typical, typical floating breakwater. You see the size of the breakwater, it is really huge. Yes, sir. The invention, what we did is, the huge size we reduced it. Number two, if you see, the size of the structure we reduced, floating structure. But then we have added skirt wall at the bottom. So if you compare number one and number two solution, Basically, they are hydrodynamically same in the sense mm. if uh, two meter wave act on the structure, on the coastal side you will see half meter wave on both the structure. But structure number two, the volume of material it is consuming is only around 40-45%. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, you can, based on our research we can save 50% of the cost in the construction. That is the beauty. Okay, so it's also cost uh, saving then, huh? Yeah, that is the beauty of our invention. So we did the study, for example, here, for example. Yes, what the, is this now? Yeah, pardon? Tell us, what are we looking at? Yeah, see the top one is the, the fundamental floating breakwater used around the world. Top one. The bottom one is a new invention. If you see the bottom one, you have two walls hanging down. Yeah, what is that? Wall. Yeah, that is called a skirt wall. Mm -hmm. See, this skirt wall helps us to reduce the wave transmitting from the sea onto the beach. So what we did is, we did the study with one skirt wall, two skirt wall, three and five, and measurements in the laboratory on the wave penetration, wave transmission. And what did the results come? Yeah, the result, if you see, when you go for the, yeah, this is the final result. See, we did this, we did the study for all these combinations. For example, the last one with the five skirt wall, if you see, that is the best one. Um, it is even much better than the first one. So you save almost 40-45% of the material and the performance is better than the first one. This is the um, innovation. So for this innovation only we got the US patent. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, now you, I believe you've had a before, uh, what are we taking a look at here before we get to yeah, this? Yeah, this is the basic key idea at the beginning. See, this is the, this is the um, fundamental of floating breakwater. Yes. So, um, in this slide, you see on the sea side, it's energetic, you have a lot of waves. Mm. On the other hand, you see on the lee side, it is relatively calm. So, the structure is like um, a, a, a pontoon with a vertical wall at the bottom. From this idea only, we developed our new floating breakwater with the two hanging walls, three and five. So, based on the study, now we have the solution 
for different wave climate for example kuwait wave climate is different compared to dubai so this has a lot of benefits for kuwait and the world yeah kuwait and the world see the beauty is um, see the wave climate in kuwait is completely different mm -hmm. you go to go down to dubai it is different so now we have the solution for different uh, wave conditions so dubai they are investing billions of dollars for developing many projects where they need co protection protection of uh, uh, their uh, beaches from erosion mm -hmm. so they can use this as a cost effective and environment friendly solution is there a lot of erosion going on in kuwait yeah in kuwait also around 10% of the coastal area is really eroding area oh really yeah, including garo island for example mm. so we should use uh, such a solution to protect so garo area. island has a lot of that problem there huh yeah a lot of uh, that problem because of all the coral reefs is that why no coral reefs uh, basically they help us to reduce the erosion so it should be better because garo has a lot of coral reefs yeah we should have a lot more coral reefs then by nature it will take care now the amount of coral reef is not sufficient to protect uh, the island mm -hmm. so we should go for uh, environment friendly solution that is why the floating breakwater okay we so uh, now the process of getting the patent uh, how did that go explain to us briefly how that is for our audience watching yeah good so when when we um, got the final results um, you sent to the patent then, yeah no beginning at the beginning uh, kaiser have a team uh, which which uh, listens to the new invention mm -hmm. and they decide whether the new invention is really new worth for going for us patent because it involves a lot of money yes us patent is something like 15000 to 20000 us dollar you got to pay for the patent okay so it is required to screen uh, the results whether it is worth for patenting before going and proceeding before going yes so then we have a us uh, lawyer um, with the kaiser yeah, Kisser is doing that. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, you have to submit to the lawyer. Then they convert your technical um, uh, results into patentable document. Then they submit to U.S. Patent Office. U.S. Patent Office, they have a lot of um, uh, scientists reviewing it, and they will bombard you back with a lot of uh, questions. They have, they have to, we have to prove that this is a new one. Yes. Because they, they search for a patent around the world. And they will tell you what what see this is one literature available closer to your patent, so then you have to tell them that it's not how the we same. are different. Yes. 